a heuristic approach in espresso algorithm so first of all we are talking about the heuristic appro approach what is heuristic approach Heuris heuristic approach to minimizing boolean function in term of their sum of product representation it widely used to design the digital logic and the espresso algorithm to smart method to use simplified digital logic circuit it reduce the number of logic gates to help make circuit smaller faster easier and more efficient so why we are using to minimize the boolean expression is very difficult and the time consuming for large input exact method like uh, qui uh, klasky becomes too slow for large data input so in uh, in term of that we are using the espresso algorithm solve using smart way to shortcut quick to find a good solution in logic without checking every possibilities the espresso algorithm in heuristic logic to minimizing use for efficiently reducing the complexity of digital logic gates circuit it is developed by robert k uh, breton and his colleagues was first introduced in espresso 1 in 1982 and later improved espresso 2 in 1984 let's we take uh, c have value c1 c2 c3 and ck it's denote the current covering f at espresso it uh, iteratively applies the sequence like first to uh, expand then irredentant then after that reduce the heuristic are uh, smart shortcut to use to find quick solution uh, may perfect a good enough shortcuts help logic circuit efficiency without checking every possibility option there are some key features like logic minimization heuristic based scalability used in cat so how it is work it operates iteratively using three main step uh, first expand then reduce then irredent in expand merge them to create more general expression in reduce remove unnecessary or redundant term in irredent ensure the expression remain as small as possible and still uh, covering every function now i introduce with the espresso algorithm in espresso algorithm we have to first initialize the onset value into the app original variable onset means the mean term having the value 1 then we have to initialize offset value into r variable then we have to initialize don't care set value into the d variable then we have to start the operation called expand operation with the original expression and the offset value to expand q against offset then we introduce a new operation called irredundant in which we just pass the resultant boolean expression and the don't care set to remove redundant q then we introduce to do while loop in inner do while loop we just introduce a new function called reduce in which we pass the resultant boolean expression and the don't care set to shrink against onset value then we do expand operation and irredundant operation against the resultant boolean expression until the cost is stable cost stable means if i getting the same mean term value again and again we have to come back into the outer do while loop for the search of new solution means we have to search for other local minimum value or the other global minimum value for this we just introduce again three operation called in reduce gsp expand gsp and irredundant in reduce gsp we just add q that can be reduced and then expand gsp we have to expand q that cover another and then we do irredundant on the resulting boolean expression until the time goes up time goes up means we first initialize the espresso algorithm with the time 
for which it will run and then we verify the resultant boolean expression with the original boolean expression to check that result is correct or not now i will see how espresso work first start with any prime cover then repeat the operation reduce expand and return in first step we start with four prime literals first one second one third one and fourth one then we have to do reduce operation after reducing we get four implicant but not all are the prime implicant this one is not the prime implicant and this one is also not the prime implicant so then we have to do the expand operation after expandation, we get again four prime literals, but one, one is redundant prime literals. Then we have to remove redundant prime literals. So do a redundant operation. And after a redundant, we get three prime literals, but none of them are redundant. Now, what does expanding a cube mean? Suppose we start with the cube 0011. Name is x, y, z bar, w bar. For expanding this cube, there is a heuristic by which we can go downward or we can go rightward. I select rightward direction and expand the cube. After expanding, Y become don't care part. Similarly here, I expand the cube in downward direction and W become don't care part. Similarly, we have done expandation. For stopping criteria of expandation of cube, we have to take care about infeasible solution. Like in this cube Z bar, there is 4 mean term cover along with 4 zero value. So it gives infeasible solution. Similarly here, the in this cube the X, there are 6 mean term along with 2 zero value. So it also gives infeasible solution. So we have to stop this. Now reduction in espresso heuristic minimization algorithm. Reduction is performed by using this basic trick. First of all, we pick a cube and remove it from the current cover and then carefully intersect it with the complement with the rest of the cover. And in the next step, we take the intersection and the intersection part is keep or we keep it for the next step. And this step is repeated many time or for the next cube until we can get a reduced term we can understand reduction by the given figure in the given figure we can see that we selected this cube and uh, we have taken the complement with the rest of the cover and uh, in the next step we are we take the intersection of the uh, pick uh, selected cube and uh, the complement then uh, the highlighted part we can see that uh, this is the intersection and uh, in the next step uh, result for the cube we can see that uh, this and uh, comparing first diagram and the last diagram we can see that here there is a redundant part and uh, there we can see that reduction with the help of reduction the redundant is gone in the next part after reduction we check for irredundant here in the given we have cover f with which includes cube a b c d and e here we can see that the cube a and the cube e are the relatively essential or we can see also that these are two are highlightedly dark and uh, the cube B and cube D are the total redundant part. We can see that the cube B and the cube D are the total redundant. And the cube C, this one, this is, we can see that these are partial redundant. In the next slide, we can see that we, uh, we know that we need to keep cube A and cube E because these are relatively essential in this cover. Previously, we have seen there the cube A and the cube E are relatively essential. And uh, which of the B cube, C cube and D cube we can nuke or and not uncover any mean terms. Or in previous slide, we can see that B cube and D cube 
और क्यूब बी और क्यूब डी आर द टोटल रिडेंडेंट एंड क्यूब सी इज द पार्शियली रिडेंडेंट देन वी रिमूव द क्यूब बी एंड क्यूब डी एंड हेयर वी कैन सी द एंसर एक्सपेक्टेड विच इज क्यूब ए क्यूब सी एंड क्यूब ई बिकॉज क्यूब बी एंड क्यूब डी आर द टोटली रिडेंडेंट देयर देयर फॉर वी रिमूव दैम और न्यूक दैम so in previous slides we have seen and understood how express algorithm works step by step and also we took a example and solved showed how express algorithm minimizes the boolean function to its lowest now we will see how this can be implemented in a code express algorithm has many huge applications in vlsi electronics and embedded systems and many other fields there can uh, there we can face large issues to solve such huge problems we need a software or a tool or some sat solvers to solve these kind of prob problems so today we going to talk about a pi eda software or a tool to minimize two level sum of products forms of a boolean functions so this tool this tool pi eda uses a expresso heuristic algorithm to minimize the expressions also it provides a easy way to minimize the boolean expressions also the algorithm efficiently reduces the time complexity uh, logical complexity and uh, minimizes the logic minimization to in pi eda so to install this pi eda we have a uh, command pip install pi eda in python which installs the pi eda software after with a star we import all the packages uh, from a pi eda dot enter and to solve firstly we define uh, some variables so here in our function we used three variables a b c so uh, we'll create three variables a b c which uh, here i used expresso variable uh, key, uh, function and map keyword to create three variables in a pi eds tool so now coming to defining a boolean expression i consider a f1 function which expresses the, these uh, expression and in the form of a uh, pi ed format we can uh, represent in, in this format where a indicates a uh, 1 and negation a indicates a 0 and this bar symbol indicates the or function and this ampersand symbol indicates the and function <coughs> so after printing it Uh, we can see here here we used four bars so here we can see four or functions and in each term we can see two ampersand functions so here also we can see two ampersand function so this is a uh, this can this function is represented in a pi ed software and yeah we sh we convert it to dnf after converting it we can see this is the output and this is exactly same as the given function or expression so to minimize the expression we have a key function that is expresso express here we pass a, a minimize a two dnf function or a, this function and it uh, uses uh, express algorithm with the heuristic uh, express heuristic algorithm to minimize and this is the output so here we can see uh, ab plus b dash c plus ac dash a dash c dash is the output so this f1 function is minimized to this f1m function here f1 m represents the f1 minimized function so after minimizing we should 
verify that the uh, uh, minimized function is equivalent to given function so to verify that function we have another keyword uh, or a function that is equivalent f1 dot equivalent will pass a minimized function f1m so if it is uh, equivalent then it will return a true or else it will return a false in this case the minimized function is equivalent to uh, the given function so it's return a true <coughs> so uh, I copied the same code here in a PPT. So now, how well does this Espresso uh, algorithm works? So it is really fast and really robust, and it spend its time to complement. Complement it takes a fourteen percent of time to expand. It take twenty nine percent of time for irredundant 12% and essentials 13% reduce for reduce 8% and for various optimizations it, to, it takes 22% to overall 100% so usually uh, it take less than 5 expand uh, reduce irredundant loop iterations often covering in just one or two iterations also example in 1984 uh, minimized SOP sum of products with terms of uh, 3172 and also 23,741 literals it took roughly 16 CPU seconds so this is all about uh, Expresso algorithm and uh, PyDE tool thank you